Just bring it up. Turn out, guys. Hey, guys. Good morning, and welcome back to another episode of Fishtopi Vlog. For this episode, we're going to talk about what to do and what not to do during brownout. So for me, I haven't really encountered any problems during brownout. So because I know what to do, I know exactly what to do during this time. So number one, what you need to do is to make sure that uh, you properly maintain your tank. So what I mean about maintaining your tank is you do a partial water change religiously uh, either once a week or uh, twice a week so by doing this uh, we will be able to remove ammonia nitrates nitrite so that uh, when brown out comes it doesn't really spike up or it doesn't really damage your fish number two um, if you have a siphon uh, water siphon uh, you need to remove any waste coming from your fish okay if they are uh, producing waste during the blackout or if there's any waste uh, visible during the brand out uh, you need to siphon it out to make sure that that waste doesn't convert into ammonia that can be harmful to your fish number three is probably one of the most important things is that don't feed your fish during the brownout. Now, if you know the schedule of the brownout, for example, uh, the brownout is tomorrow, and then for about eight hours or six hours or so, uh, do not feed your fish the day before. Okay, a fish can actually survive for about four to five days or even one week without food. So it would be advisable. To, to not feed your fish uh, before the black brown out but uh, if, if, the, if, there, if there's there's a sudden brown out like for three hours or two hours uh, during that time do not feed your fish because by feeding your fish uh, you are actually giving them chance to uh, produce waste again so this waste can be poisonous to them especially when when the filter when your filtration is down or it when your frustration is not working okay number four is to make sure that you don't overstock your uh, aquarium what i mean about overstock is that you put too many fish in an aquarium now ideally uh the ratio for an aquarium and fish is that there should be one fish for every gallon of water okay now, in this type of, of course, there, there would be special circumstances. For example, your grooming, there's a grooming tank. Now, grooming tanks has lesser goldfish with much volume in it because we put in lots of food for the fish to grow. Now, this is another uh, special circumstance, but for a, a common aquarium, of course, overstocking means uh, too much in the volume, too much when it comes to the volume of water now for example you have a 20 to 30 gallons of water so one fish per gallon of water so that's 20 fish for a 20 gallon aquarium so more than that you're overstocking your fish now overstocking would result to uh, many things for example uh, it, uh, of course overstocking to lose lot of waste right and overstocking can also if your uh, filtration is down the goldfish will tend to uh, seek out you know a uh, source of a uh, oxygen now two things can happen when you overstock an aquarium with fish right so uh, one is that uh, there would be too much waste in your aquarium so uh, this would uh, what will happen is that uh, if your fish produces too much waste and then uh, you know your filtration is still on the fish would be okay okay because uh, the filtration can manage the waste but what happens when that 
filtration stops. So that waste, too much waste, will become poison to your fish. So avoid overstocking your fish. Okay. So number two that will happen also is that uh, there would be a depletion of oxygen in the water column. So what I mean is that the fish also uh, use oxygen, you know, so through their gills. And if there are too many of them in, in one setting or in one aquarium, then the oxygen, especially if the power is out, no filtration, no aeration, uh, what happens is that the fish, okay, uh, will uh, get small uh, or or the, the oxygen in the water column will be depleted. So what happens is that they will seek out, so you will observe them going up and trying to seek out oxygen in the upper level of the water because there's no longer a, there's a depletion of oxygen inside the uh, water column. So if you don't overstock or if you understock, the fish would be okay because there would be uh, plenty of oxygen to go around so lastly okay what to do uh, during burnout if you are overstocked or if you have a lot of fish in your aquarium so and the burnout is too long like six to eight hours burnout so even if you follow the three there would be still a chance that your fish would be uh, damaged or worse killed no so what you need to do during those times is that uh, you need to have a partial water change at least 60 to 70 percent uh, during the half of that run out for example uh, it's going to be an eight hours run out so uh, you need to uh, have uh, do a partial water change at, uh, during the fourth hour of the run out right so 60 to 7 percent is okay so so that you can remove any uh, buildup of ammonia, nitrates, nitrites that could potentially kill your fish. I think that's it for this video and I hope you learned something from it. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, you can just click the subscribe button below uh, for, for an update on our latest videos. So that's it. Happy fish keeping.